7,164. We're going to take this number and rearrange it in descending order. Seven's the biggest, then we'll go six, four, and one, and we'll subtract the reverse scenario. We're gonna go in ascending order. So we'll start with the smallest number, one. What's the next biggest number? Four, what's the next biggest number after that? Six, and then what's the next biggest number after that? Seven, woo -hoo. So you're gonna subtract 7,641 from 1,467. Remember, the original number was 7,164. Bear with me, this is really cool. When you subtract seven minus one, you're gonna get six. When you subtract six minus four, what are you gonna get? Two. You're gonna get two. And when you subtract four and six, hmm. You need another two. Well, that's negative two. And then one minus seven, that's gonna be <laughs> negative six. So you got negative 26 here. So you take away that from 200 and you would get 174, I believe. So let's do that, 174. And bada boom, bada bing, you now have the infamous Capri Cars Constant, 6,174. Be sure to subscribe, watch full length episodes below, and God bless. 3,524. Step one, rearrange. Biggest to smallest. 5,432. And then you're gonna subtract the smaller numbers going up to the biggest. We say from descending order to ascending order here. These guys descend, they go down. These guys ascend, they go up. Subtract this and we'll do it and repeat enough times until we get back to Capricar's constant. Five minus two, that's equal to three. What's four minus one? You know what four minus one is. That's one. What's 32 minus 45? Don't worry, it's minus 13. So we're gonna have a negative 13 here that we're gonna subtract from the 100 to give us 3,087. Okay, you have 3,087. Now. Capricar's constant says you're gonna repeat this process by putting that number in a rearranged order, descending order. You're gonna subtract this same number, but in ascending order. So the smallest number is zero. The next number is three. And then what number comes after that? Seven. And the biggest number is eight. So this is ascending order. All right, let's subtract. That's really 10 minus eight or two. And then this is really two minus seven or uh, 12 minus seven, so that's five. Now we have seven minus three, but we had to take away one from this spot. So it's really six minus three or 352. And then eight minus zero is simply eight. If you need to review how to do subtraction, you can do it left to right or right to left in the videos linked below. 8,352, we're not gonna slow down. You're gonna take this number and you're gonna re repeat Capricar's constant process. Take 8,352, put it in descending order. So eight, five, three, two. You rearrange the numbers from biggest to smallest, and then you subtract the same numbers from smallest to biggest. And you're gonna be in business at this point. Watch this, this is so cool. Eight minus two, that's gonna be good old whopping six. Five minus three, good old whopping two. And then three minus five, that's minus two. Two minus eight. That's minus six. So minus 26, you're really talking about good old 74. And you took that away from the hundreds place, which leaves you with 6,174. Capricar's constant. If you do this process enough times, you will always get back to Capricar's constant. A couple of rules about Capricar's constant. One, it has to be a four digit number. Two, you cannot do a number where all the digits are the same, like one, 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 four. Two, 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 two. There has to be some difference in the digits. So who came up with this number? An Indian mathematician by the name of D.R. Capricar, who in 1949 realized there's something really cool about 6,147. His constant has applications in advanced subjects like recursion theory, convergence analysis, and cryptography, all of which are beyond me, but you math champs can get into later in life. <laughs>
Let's look at 1,998. We're not gonna show every subtraction step, so be sure to check your work. Yes. We're going to need to rearrange this number from ascending to descending order. So 9981, yep, that's going down. And then you wanna go up. You're gonna use one, you're gonna use eight, and you're gonna use two nines. We won't show the steps. You need to go back and verify the steps. We just wanna show you how you get back to Capricar's constant. So, this subtraction is gonna give you 8,000 and 82. And then you're gonna repeat the process. When you do the subtraction, you get 8,082. You come up here, goodbye old stuff. You're gonna use 8,082, and you're gonna subtract after putting this in descending order. So 8820, biggest to smallest, and then subtract smallest to biggest. What is smallest to biggest here? It's gonna be 0, 2, 8, Eight. And when you do this subtraction, you're going to get, as your next step, 8,000 and 532. Don't get scared. Check the work. Pause if you need to. When you do this subtraction, you get 8,532. We're going to do one more iteration. One more iteration. One! And that will get us back to Capricar's constant. Watch this, this is so cool. 8,532. Rearrange that in order of smallest, excuse me, biggest to smallest. Wait a second. It's already in order, biggest to smallest. Okay, well that makes it easy. Then we're gonna subtract the reverse order. You're gonna do smallest to biggest. So, what's after two? Three, what's the next biggest number? It's gonna be good old fashioned five. What's the next biggest number after that? Good old fashioned eight. And when you do this subtraction class, you're gonna get Capricar's constant. You're gonna get 6,000. You're gonna get 100. And then you're gonna get 74. Yeah, good stuff. There's Capricar's constant. And we did it in only three steps. Last one. Don't subscribe. But you can join the Greater Gators class if you wanna see bonus content. We'll do some more in the Greater Gators class. Let's rearrange this. It's already in descending order. That's good. What about subtracting the number in ascending order? Well, zero, 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 that becomes your first three numbers, and then one. That's the biggest number. So this is easy, 1,000 minus one. Okay, you can do that. This isn't a four-digit number, so you make it a four-digit number when you go in descending order, just like you're gonna subtract in ascending order, zero, and then 999. I know, it's pretty wild, but don't get scared. We'll get through this. When you do this subtraction and you carry it out, you're gonna get a good old 800, excuse me, you're gonna get 8,991. That's what that's gonna be equal to. And you're gonna repeat you'll get to Capricar's constant. I promise you that. Put this into descending order, so the nines will come first, and then the eight, and then the one. And then you're gonna subtract going the reverse direction in ascending order. So the nines will come last, and there will be an eight there as an intermediate number. When you do this subtraction, and again, I encourage you to pause, rewind, get out a piece of scratch paper and do it yourself, you're gonna get good old 8,082. Don't stop. We're gonna put this into descending order. So that'd be 8820. You're gonna subtract the number in ascending order, 0288. You will get to Capricar's constant, as long as you follow the rules, where it's a four digit number and every digit has to be unique. So if you do that, you're gonna get 8,532. Hey, that's already in descending order, so that's gonna make the next step even easier. You're gonna do two, you're gonna do three, you're gonna do a good old five, and then you're gonna do a good old eight. And when you do that, bada bing, bada boom, guess what? You get back to 6,174. Capricar's constant. Welcome to the bonus section. We're gonna work with 3,003. 
If you want to get to Capricar's Constant, this one's a doozy. It's going to take you six steps. You arrange from 